Alright, if you can get past the sound in the background, you'll be able to realize that while well, I'm telling you this, Minish Cap is one of my favorite games of all time. Not favorite Zelda games of all time, one of my favorite games of all time, every game I've played, or even experienced or seen. What sold me on Minish Cap was not its graphics, not its storyline, not its characters or its gameplay, but it was its music. And, I, and in this video, I'm paying tribute to the 10 best songs from The Legend of Zelda Minish Cap. This does count boss themes and everything, this counts basically every music track in the game. Even special effects, though, I don't think I have any of those. Now, this is not going to be split up into parts, because, like my remakes one, I'll get lazy and forget to do them. I will be coming out with that soon, don't worry. This will be just a full-on video. This will probably run about 30 or 40 minutes, so grab some popcorn, grab some coke, and prepare to listen to a lot of Zelda music. Mount Cornell. Mount Cornell is a, came out to me as a very strong, a very orchestr not really orchestrated because most of the music is simulated, but just a very well composed piece. It really screamed to me, yes, you're climbing a mountain, you're climbing a big mountain, and it's going to be hard and tough, and you might even die along the way. It's a very rugged, tough theme, and it suits this environment perfectly.
this is a very well played piece. The organ in the background makes it sound very nice, but what really came out to me was the parts of the music that sounded twisted and destroyed. Because the music sounding twisted and destroyed I think fits the landscape of Dark Hyrule Castle because Dark Hyrule Castle is also twisted, demented, and destroyed and overrun by Vadi's evil power. <laughs> Vadi's theme is very strong. It shows Vadi's strength, it shows his power, it shows how just freaking awesome he is. He, not he, this theme shows the personality of the new evil magic cap, mage's cap power body. Enough said. <laughs> So the picture's wrong. Sue me. I'm being rushed. No, not really. But seriously, don't go blame. I accidentally downloaded it. Don't judge me. But either way, the music's great. It's another one of those powerful, you're screwed themes. 
except bodies ain't, you don't really you don't fight body body you fight body reborn body's wrath and but he uh body reborn body's wrath I can't believe I don't know this and you know if you know leave an leave a comment please I'd really like to remember <laughs> As you know, I'm making a Minish Cap walkthrough, and I don't want to say, "Go, oh, this is body's blank form, really well. Oh, wait, either way, music's good. Music's good. Enough said. No, no, this kind of, this review kind of stunk, because it was just mainly... Okay, no, I'm just going to stop talking. I'm going to go to number six. <laughs> are a very mysterious place. I have only completed the game of Legend of Zelda Minish Cap once, so I haven't really spent a whole lot of time up in the cloud tops. But though what I do know is that the music is very good. This song is a, is very much like spoiler alert, the end credits theme which is going to be on the on also on this list. Oh, by the way, if you didn't hear me, I said, SPOILER ALERT! Yeah, I just, just alerted you. But it, it doesn't really do too much damage, because another spoiler alert, it's number five. So, I mean, if you want to, you can just skip number five, because there, there are a lot of the same theme, but uh, then you might miss part of four, part of three, part of two, maybe even part of one. But, because uh, I... I after number five, that's when the really good stuff starts coming in. That's the one I'm really excited for. The ones I'm really excited for. So, I'm surprised we're only at about 14 minutes of video. So, this might only take about 25, 30 minutes at the best. Either way, back to the video number five. <laughs> Thank you. 
As said in number six, this theme is very similar to the cloud tops and vice versa, but each are very awesome themes. If you've watched my original Zelda top ten themes, then then you should pretty much know the explanation for this song. This and one other song on this list, I believe, were on that list. I have not seen it in a while, so ain't. Just refer to there for my for my explanation, because it's gonna be pretty much the same thing. Number five end credits and spoiler alert: the other one is number one. So I'm gonna hold you in a little bit of mysteriousness there, because we still have three more songs to do before we hit number one. <laughs> Well, if you, you can probably hear my brother in the background, but in case you can't, so this is Deepwood Shrine. Deepwood Shrine is the first temple of the game, or dungeon. I say temple, because that's what I'm used to. It's the first temple or dungeon of the game, and this starts it off with a bang. It's got, it's got a great concept. I mean, you're a, I believe, I mean, um... Three out of the five dungeons in the game, three out of the six dungeons in the game, you're Minish. This is one of them, and it really utilizes the music and the environment and the gust jar pretty well. This, I'll, I, if I'd put, I'd put this on the top ten dungeons list in a heartbeat. <laughs>
four words. I love this theme. This is easily the best boss theme I've ever heard. And this is the mu this is one of the tracks that first got me interested in Minish Cap. The other one is coming up on this list, so I mean, it's, it's going to be either two or number one. So I like it a lot. It's it's the second. It's like the third or fourth on this list. That's one of the you're screwed moment. You're, you're screwed songs. And the boss in the picture. Spoiler alert for my Minish Cap walkthrough. I lose to him twice. I'm not a noob. I was low on heart. Those stupid shocky things kept shocking me. I forgot to get the boomerang before I entered the stupid temple so I could kill him. Don't judge me. <laughs> This is such a mysterious song. It is so much <clears throat> in it. I love it. All right. Like any good top ten list, we must recap before we get to number one. Now, to make things easier, I have put nine annotations around the, this video, around the edges of this video as the video has gone on. If you want to go back and listen to a song again, remember what was on the list, just click one of the annotations with the corresponding part on it. And I just decided to do that instead of making you guys wait through a huge, long thing. And then you, if you just click, click the one on the very top of the screen, it will transport you through the waiting so you can select your songs up to part number one.
this song is freaking amazing. It's beautifully orchestrated, wonderfully written, greatly composed. Everything about it screams awesome. Bati is the best villain in video games. Plain and simple, this is the best theme in video in Minish Cap. Plain and simple. Well, so ends my top ten Minish Cap songs video. Um, like, comment, subscribe, do whatever the heck you want to do. I'm not gonna force you to do anything. Um, it would be really helpful if you did subscribe. I'm trying to get this channel up and running. Um, I will be. Um, if you're wondering about some updates. Uh, Minish Cap, I've gotten every part recorded up to part 22, which is right after we face and defeat Mazal, which is the third temple boss. So, I've gotten pretty far. I know I've been a bit slow with uploading my walkthrough parts, but uh, that's going to change over this weekend. Um, also, for the, the walkthrough videos and for this, all rights reserved by Nintendo. Everything in this video is made by Nintendo. The music... The video, I the, the the audio and the pictures. I got the audio from a website called bmp3.com, and I got the pictures from Google Images. Both sides rule. Check them out. And just instead of making you watch a, le a lengthy credits thing, I'm just going to say this: Zelda Guru One Two Three Four. Iz out.